Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. So we got some video footage of the rules, the leg grabbing rules that will be in place April 2025. See that little red Japanese kanji in the top right of the screen? That means it's a shido, and if it is not there in the clip, then that means it's legal. So let's go through, have a look at all the examples. The last one's absolutely crazy, and there's some niche examples in here. But anyway, let's go through them all. So the first one, this is an example of having one hand above the belt and going for a leg grabbing technique. Here's another example. And I'll play each of these clips twice so you can just see them. Shout out to the sensei as well, just to be able to pull out these techniques after all this time. This is great stuff. This is an interesting one. Interesting grip with the lapel there and then going for the leg grab. Now here we see a renzoku waza or a combination technique. So starting with the kochi and then grabbing the leg to finish it. Same here, so you can do a double leg if you initiate it in this kind of way. Another example here, Ochigari into the Morote Gari, the, the double leg. And I did show this at the start of the video, but this one here, just a straight double leg is not okay. That'll result in a Shido. This next one is very interesting, so you can't break off the grip and then go for a double leg. You must have a hand on that upper half above the belt. Same here taking your grips off and then going for a double leg, that will be a shido as well. And also kind of passing the hand like this off the sleeve and going for a double leg or morote gari is also not okay. This one, I, I kind of disagree. I think this one should be fine, but I guess it falls into their categorization of, you know, you gotta have a hand on the top half before you go for a, a leg attack. This is gonna be great for Hashimoto if he sticks around being able to do a sode while grabbing the leg. We're definitely gonna see a lot of that. And now these next ones are kind of about defense and counters. So now this is all with one hand, as you can see with these techniques here. They didn't show an example of defending with a, a double leg, but that's not gonna happen. And I'm pretty sure that would be a shido anyway. But just note the hand placement for these counters, very important, one hand above, one hand below. This is a, an interesting example of a shido, but if people do do this, I mean, it's going to result in a shido. This one they're allowing, which is kind of interesting. Now, the explanation that they gave for it is that it's the same logic as the combination attacks or the renzoku waza. You're first starting with the, the kochigari with no hands, and then you're continuing or, or chaining that attack into a leg grab. So that's okay. But that also means that this is okay. And I'll be very surprised if I see this in a competition. This is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. <laughs> so to sum everything up, you can only attack the legs if you have a hand above the belt or if you're combining a technique together. So the only time you're going to see monote gari or the double leg is when someone chains a technique together. And I'm pretty sure we'll see some, some interesting and creative ways that judoka are going to find how to grab two legs, I mean, I'm not sure if it's exactly advantageous, but I do think a lot of the things that we've been shown in this video are going to be really good to use. I think we're going to see a lot of sode to leg grab throws again, which are dynamic and spectacular to see. It's going to be great. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.